Matt just did all the dishes last night. Hi, also, hello. I am vlogging, so I'm about to make some food. Today's been a crazy day, it's already noon. Um, and I just filmed a clothing haul. I'm starting to get a little more comfortable sharing with you guys clothing favorites. Uh, a little fun fact, one of my most popular videos, it almost has a million views actually, is an Amazon like clothing review. So I feel like, I don't know if I'm doing this wrong, but a lot of you guys might be following me because of some clothing aspect, or I don't know, my personality or my food, I don't really know. But I just posted like a really fun reel on my Instagram story and I was nervous to post it. I don't know why I'm nervous, it's what I like to do. I should just not care. It's me doing something new and I, I just always kind of, I have some apprehension, apprehension with that no matter what it is, so. Um, I hope you guys have liked, liked it. I, obviously, I'm always talking about food still, so I don't want people to get weird about that, but like this whole outfit is from the haul. Uh, I have a discount code that still, should still be live if you guys want to check any of this out. Um, but yeah, check out that haul. I'm just going to be roasting some vegetables. Right now, I worked out already at 8.45 in the morning. I had a protein shake, and now we need to go grocery shopping like so bad. I feel like that is just the key, the what is it the word i'm looking for the theme of all of my videos it's like we need to go grocery shopping i feel like i'm always saying that but like we really need to go grocery shopping i am using up some of the vegetables that we have left that are just going to go bad we have some like a half bag of carrots that are just looking really sketchy so i'm gonna pick some of those out um we have some red onion just some baby tomatoes a red bell pepper and then some broccoli. So I'm gonna chop all that up, toss in some olive oil, some seasonings, pop it in the oven 400 for like 20, 25 minutes-ish. Just, you know, kind of shake it up halfway through and, and just have some good healthy vegetables. That is a great way, obviously, to use vegetables if they're going bad. But like I said, we don't really have any like protein or any source like that. I'm trying to fill, I had that protein shake just now though. So that was like 30 grams of protein. But now I just wanna get some vegetables in my body. And then I have a PT appointment at two o'clock. I just got off a group project Zoom call. So that was fun. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I've just been like replying to your comments on my Instagram reel that I did. And yeah, I just need to be more confident in sharing like what I, what I like, okay? And pack it, I gotta pack it, I gotta pack it. Ooh. Alright, let's get to chopping. Okay, here's the final <laughs> product. I mean, I have to put it in still, but I chopped all the veggies. Just kind of tried to get equal sizes, whatever. I don't really care. I'm just gonna toss it in some olive oil, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, and honestly, put it in 420 minutes, shake halfway. Depending on like if the carrots are still a little tough, it might go a little longer, but I might cook up some quinoa too, just to have, actually that sounds really good. I'm gonna cook up some quinoa. <laughs> okay, I just tossed all the veggies in just some olive oil, garlic powder, onion powder, pink salt, and this is my favorite pepper from Trader Joe's. I've talked about this before. And the fact that I have a favorite pepper, I am aware that that is um, alarming. It's fine. Everything's fine. I also changed really quick because, um, you know, and total klutz move, I spilled all over myself. Again, I use my blue light glasses. Amazon, I've talked about them before. Amazon hoops, Amazon, Princess Polly, Forever 21, Kim Possible joggers. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna put those in the oven. Let's just do it now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay. In they go. Herman is absolutely terrified of the oven. Um, where is he even right now? Let's find him. Oh, <laughs> what's happening? I scared the oven. I said the oven on. I love you. I love you. Just to be a dog, right? I guess here's a better picture of the outfit. Monochromatic green on green look. These are so wrinkly right now, but they're like little cargo. They have sharp, wow, pockets. Just 
the fit. <laughs> I don't know. All right. I'm gonna make some quinoa now. Would you guys ever be interested in like a pantry tour? Okay, just thinking about the bad lighting. Would you guys be ever interested? What? He's so scared. Would you guys be interested in a pantry tour or like a fridge tour ever? I don't know, I feel like I like to watch those, but you guys let me know if that's something you would like to watch. Um, quinoa. Let's have this tricolor quinoa rum. Probably Trader Joe's or something, but some of this up this is a great great plant-based protein source you know it's just like a powerhouse food we love her and i think she tastes really good so what i'm probably gonna do this is one of my favorite sauces from trader joe's is this thai yellow style curry i'll probably pour some of this over the vegetables put it over the quinoa call it a day quick easy lunch chef's keys all right for the quinoa do half a cup of quinoa to a cup of water. So I got a cup of water, I got like a cup and a half of water. Gonna bring that to a boil and then I will add half a cup of quinoa. I like to measure out when I do rice and like quinoas and grains just because I don't like when there's an extra liquid in there. Um, but yeah, you can also cook quinoa in like chicken stock. Try low sodium if you can just to watch that control a little more but like chicken stock veggie stock beef broth it really adds a good flavor to quinoa if you are someone who maybe doesn't enjoy it as much um but i'm going to add yes this thai curry sauce on the top and it's gonna be delish oh i'm excited the veggies are already smelling so good <clears throat> all right so we're boiling so i'm just gonna add like I said, I like to add a cup and a half of water just because some of it evaporates. So I'm gonna do a cup or a half a cup of, this is just tri-colored quinoa. You're supposed to rinse your quinoa. In a perfect world, I would rinse my quinoa and I would suggest you to rinse your quinoa. I don't rinse my quinoa. It's fine, okay, you're not gonna die. So what I'm gonna do is just stir that, cover it. Okay, cover it and let it simmer. I love when I get the right cover size, like the right top of the pan. I don't know what I'm saying. Do you know what I'm saying? When you get like the right size the first time, whatever. That's one of my problems. <laughs> one of my weaknesses, I guess, is I can never estimate the correct size Tupperware or like top or I have a really bad sense of that. Like if I'm putting leftovers in my Tupperware, I'm not, I'm usually really bad. I either overshot it, overshoot it, or like undershoot it terribly with either way too big of a Tupperware or like way too small of a Tupperware. Anyone else? <laughs> Anyone else relate to that? Because <laughs> Lord knows I do. All right, we're gonna let this simmer just until it absorbs all the water, stir it periodically, and then take the, the roasted vegetables out. If I had like some chicken breast or I don't know, like some lentils, chickpeas, something like that. That'd be great to also eat with this, but we just don't. Like I said, we need to go grocery shopping, but still make do. Okay, just pulled these roasted veggies out. You can see they're nice and like crisped up. They smell delish. The carrots are nice and soft. Mm. So, I put up some of my quinoa. I'm just gonna put a bunch not with my hands all right psycho with um, a bunch of veggies on here and then top her off you guys this is so freaking good you can see like the little bursted wow burst what is it called blistered cherry tomatoes this is definitely a new staple if you had like chicken or shrimp that would be really good but like look at that bite Oof, the quinoa The curry sauce is perfect. Such a good, flavorful, veggie-filled protein dish. You put fish on top of this too. It'd be really good. A lot of options. Mm. I don't know what it is about me before I have my PT appointments that I just decided to like make an, like an elaborate meal and like record the whole thing. 
I mean, I know this is not elaborate, but like I filmed it on my Instagram. I filmed it for YouTube. So like it takes a while because I have to like show everything. Um, I don't know. Every time I go to my PT, I have to, I feel like I'm rushing. Um, I don't know if I talked about it. I had like a disc issue in my back from when I was in high school and I played volleyball and it acts up every once in a while. So I go to PT whenever it acts up and it's 100% better now. It's not bad, but yeah, it's basically it. Mm. So freaking good. Okay, so I just got back from my PT appointment and I got a package in so I figured I would share it with you guys. Um, I have, sorry, Herman's eating in the background, if you can hear him. So I've touched on this before, but I'm going to St. Louis for Thanksgiving just to see Matt's family, that's where he's from, and then my mom is driving down to meet us. Um, let me know if you guys want me to vlog that trip. We've been on it for like over a week, so let me know, I can try. Um, but I'm, I'm honestly, I'm just hoping for cooler weather. Like I'm so excited for like sweaters and layering and like coats and boots. So I saw these. Cute boots on sale. They were for th on sale for thirty dollars from Kohl's. Okay. Oh my god. These look identical to the a designer. I forgot version of these that is so identical. How beautiful are these? Wow. So this um, like Sherpa material is very in right now. I like how it's mixed with the leather. Let's try it on. Oh shit. Well, I got a size 10 because I have man feet. We know this. Nothing new here. Let me see how they fit. Oh, my is so cute. All right, I'll show you the mirror. Oh, these are my airy leggings that are my favorite. I think they're still on, they were on sale all last week for like 30 bucks. So I stocked up, I got another pair of these and some black ones. Oh my God, these are so cute with like some jeans or just some leggings. Even this outfit, if I had like a coat. <laughs> so cozy. We have turkey meatballs frozen. So maybe I'll do that with the, he's just like regurgitating in the background of my video. It's fine, everything's fine. Maybe I'll just do turkey meatballs with some zoodles and maybe that masala sauce. I don't know, if you can't tell, I love like Indian spices and that whole thing, so I don't know. I'll show you, we'll see. Okay, I, I wanted something like a little sweet. If you guys follow my Instagram, you know I'm obsessed with these nut butter stuffed dates. They're, they're looking like, they're simple, but it's like the perfect salty sweet. Mm. Even Matt likes them. So that's how I know they're good. So I have like two of these. And then I have some homework I have to do before I have to go back to work later. Beauty guru. Herman, what? I'm not giving you one. You just ate, boy. Well, oh, those are so good. I don't like to sick of those, never. All right, I'm gonna post up in my corner. I have this desk, but we have to get a chair for it still, and I just haven't gotten a chair. But I do sit here and I take exams with like the, um, we have to take exams with like the monitor on so like they can watch us and lock screen. So like I always sit here and I take exams, but like studying and then just do some group project homework stuff. So I'm just gonna post up there, get some water, my planner and just have myself a day until I have to go back to work. Matt will probably come home soon. Okay guys, so I just got home from work. Changed, obviously, into my robe. I, guys, I need to tell you about this robe. I'm obsessed with it. It's from my FabFitFun box. I'm obsessed with it. Maybe I'll share everything I got in that because this is actually a really good box. You guys know I'm, I'm a sucker for subscription boxes. It's like Christmas all year round. And they just came out with their winter box. And this is one of the items in it. I don't know if you can tell how like plush. I love it. All right, that's not the point of why I started filming, but that did remind me I should share what I got. All right, very impromptu, but I figured I would just show you guys what I got in my Fat Fit Fun Box this um, season. So I've talked about them before on this channel. You guys know I like genuinely love them, I, but it's a seasonal subscription box, so it means you get it four times a year, which basically means you get surprised because you kind of forget that it's coming, and then you get 
a giant box of things at your door. Um, I love it because it's customizable and also you guys know I love a good deal. So the boxes are usually I think like over $200 worth of valued stuff, but you only pay $39.99 if you use my code, um, which is my last name, Cooley. But let me show you, um, I showed you already, I got this amazing plush robe. And like you can customize a lot of the items in your box too. So I knew I was getting this robe because I was like, I need a new robe and that looks phenomenal and they go well with my Amazon slippers. Okay, the little things in life. Any takers, oh my God. You guys, the always pan that I'm obsessed with and I always talk about is in here. That's so funny. It's an amazing pan. I'll link it down below too. This robe is originally $70. The fact that the box is only $39.99 and this is already $70 and it's one item. Okay, one item. So I have been hearing everyone and their mother talk about this. This is the one I had to grab out of my bathroom because I have been using this all the time. Um, this is the Tula Skincare Probiotics and Superfood Rose Glow and get it cooling and brightening eye balm. I don't know if you've seen this. I feel like everyone talks about Tula. I've never actually tried any of their products. I don't know if probiotics work on your skin. I don't know. But this, all I know is this feels really good under your eye and it brightens under your eye. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, but. Oh, you can, huh. You see that like just brightening aspect? Ooh. She's awake and it, it's cooling and it just feels really good. I don't know how to describe it, but this is phenomenal. And this one is, any guesses? $30, so you guys see where I'm going with this? This one, I've used this twice. This one is the Liquid Eyeliner in Black by Aesthetica, but this Liquid Eyeliner is phenomenal. It has a felt tip, which um, I, prefer in my liquid eyeliner. It's very beginner friendly and foolproof, so that's why I like using felt tips. This one is valued at $21, okay? Next is this cute little card holder. Crocodile card case, $35. Um, I love it, I love card cases, I love little keychain wallets. I'm notorious for not bringing a wallet out with me, so I like to have a little small one so I can just carry it in one hand like with my phone and that's it, or just throw it in a purse really quick. I always, always have these small little wallets so they'll never catch me with a big one. Um, it's perfect, I like how it has a zipper for some change, obviously like a larger pocket and then card pockets and then this color is just like super, it's like a good neutral, I know it's red, but like it's still like a good neutral and it's really good quality feeling. Okay, this next item, I've heard of this brand before, Ilia, but this is the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara and I actually haven't opened this yet to try because I'm still using or finishing up my current one. I don't wanna open this one too soon because it's like, I don't want it to dry out. It looks really nice and this retails at $28. So, another steal. All right, last product. If you guys can't tell, I love like skincare and makeup. That's where a lot of this Comfort, skincare, and like minimal makeup are like my things now. Obviously with quarantine and everything, we're not doing a whole lot. So I wanna be comfortable, I want my skin to be glowing, and I want, if I do wear like a little makeup, I wanna have good staples. So the next, the last thing I got is this uh, Algenist Com uh, Complete Eye Renewal Balm. And this stuff is thick. I've used, a bu I've used it probably the past like week, but you can't tell because it's like eye cream, so like I just, do a little bit and tap under my eyes. Never pull, you gotta tap. Okay. Um, this retails at $68, okay? $68. Eye cream lasts you so long, like a year, okay? And I swear by it, you use the tiniest amount. $68 alone, okay, for this box that costs you $39.99. Dinner tonight, we are making turkey meatballs over zoodles with a simmer sar ma masala simmer sauce. So I have these frozen turkey meatballs from Trader Joe's. These are fully cooked. I'm just defrosting them in the microwave right now. Matt, cut the bag open down here. Who does that? Is he, like, is he insane? Who does that? You guys always cut like up there, right? Why does he cut in the bottom? Just made me rethink our entire six year relationship. That right there. Then for the sauce, I just have my favorite. You guys know I love this stuff. Masala simmer sauce with some coconut milk. I do like half and half, simmer them in. And then while those are simmering, I will zoodle up some zoodles, basically get carpal tunnel. And then I will throw these into a little pan. Just heat them through really quickly, like a minute, minute and a half. Just spray the pan with oil, cook these through. While these are simmering, covered. And then I'll add on top and that's the meal. 
very simple. You're gonna put them in a pan. So, all I'm doing, I know this is scary, don't do this, but just so you can see, you cut through like that, okay? I cut them in halves, you can quarter them, whatever you want, doesn't matter. These are so nice, they're already cooked for you. Trader Joe's also has a frozen uh, plant-based meatball if that is more your jam. But I like these turkey ones. I like those too. They're both really good. But again, this is a four ingredient meal. Super quick. I always have like all this on hand. The only fresh ingredient, I guess, is the zucchini. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, also my mom told me to tell you in all my videos that I wash my hands before I start cooking. I just don't show it on camera. Okay? Just, I want everyone to know that I wash my hands. <laughs> There you go, mom. I told them. So, I'm gonna set you up here so you can kind of see. Matt did all the dishes, housewife vibes. We love that. And I'm gonna pop my ingredients over. I don't know why I feel like Hugh Hefner doing this right now. But, take a pan, use the coconut oil spray, really quick. Pop my halved uh, turkey meatballs in. I don't know why I do that. The cut side down, you don't have to do that. I think that's just my OCD coming out. Okay, so that's good. And then you turn the heat on, like medium. Then I'm just gonna do a press jar. I'm just gonna pour some of this over. Let's see if you can see. Honestly, like that much, I guess. I don't really know. I eyeball it. Half cup, I don't know. All right, and then my coconut milk. This is the reduced fat one. One of you guys gave me a good tip. You can just buy the regular coconut milk and then cut it with water because that's basically all they do for this one. So whatever, whatever floats your boat. Just pour some of that in, probably like a third a cup. That's why I'm bad at recipes. This is why the cookbook is so hard, you guys. This recipe will also be in the cookbook. I've said it before, but the premise of the cookbook is 10 ingredients or less dinners, so I love that. All right, so I just kind of mix it around. Get the sauce mixed. I don't know why this looks so weird on camera. Okay. Get the meatballs covered. Yum, yum. Okay. Just like that. Bring it up to a boil. And then you're just gonna cover it. Let them simmer in the sauce. Let's see if I guess the right size. Ha! Was good. Actually, it's not actually, that's not right, but it's good enough. We need new pans so badly. That's what I'm asking for for Christmas. Okay, so I just threw the noodles into the same pan that the sauce was in. I moved the sauce over here. You can see it thickened up nicely. Then I'm just gonna put that on top. Once these kind of heat through, I don't cook them too long because I don't want them to get mushy. Um, and then it'll be time to plate up and eat. Okay, here is the final. I just put some of the chopped uh, meatballs and then topped it with some sauce. Um, this is optional, but I like yogurt. A little bit of yogurt on top. Just plain non-fat Greek yogurt, just on top, and then a little, if you had cilantro it'd be better, but just all we have is some parsley. So that is what we're gonna use, and that is the final product. All right. <laughs> Matt's behind the camera right now. Uh, we just got back from Trader Joe's. I also stopped at Target for a few things, so I'm just gonna show you what, everything we got. Um, we were having a Friendsgiving tomorrow, so I got a... Everyone wants food. I got a bunch of stuff to make a charcuterie board, so I'll show you what I use for that. But first off, we got our already cooked lentils. We like to eat this with garlic dip or just, you know, with a fork. Plain. What? Mm -hmm. I also put this in, uh, like, quesadillas before. So, like, cheese, quesadilla, that, or tortilla, whatever. This is a new item. The truffle dip, um, it says a creamy truffle infused dip with a blend of cream cheese, ricotta cheese, and Parmesan cheese. So obviously, if you do like
cucumbers or carrots in this would be really good but i'm thinking like maybe on like a pizza because the ricotta and parmesan i'm gonna play with it but i love truffle anything um frozen stuff just some more cold bar gnocchi we just shot this for the cookbook and i showed how to make it like three different ways two savory one sweet so, so good. And um, then more turkey meatballs. These are frozen. I just shot a reel on my Instagram with these for the four ingredient 15 minute meal. So check that out if you have not. Also follow me there. I post a bunch of quick recipes. Uh, we just got one of our favorite quest bars. This one just tastes really, really good. I only got one. We split it. It's the caramel, well, chocolate caramel pecan. It's really good. Got some Persian cucumbers. Also, I want to say Matt went to H-E-B yesterday to get like bulk of our groceries, so like vegetables, produce, egg, everything. So this is just supplemental stuff that I can only get at Trader Joe's. I feel like I always have to say that. Next, I got these gone bananas. I haven't gotten these in a while. I love these. They're just dark chocolate sliced bananas. Super delicious. Also really affordable. I think they're like $2. Um, really good. I got some organic mixed cherry tomatoes. Yum. Herm's really hungry and I'm getting a little antsy. Uh, our favorite pepper, I know this is weird to have a favorite pepper, but it's the rainbow peppercorn. It's superior. Um, another one of fancy made jewel dates. A bunch of these refried beans. I love having these just on hand. Quick fiber protein option. Um, half a cup is five grams fiber, eight grams of protein. I like to put these in like a low carb tortilla. And honestly, just like heat it up like a bean burrito. I know it sounds weird but it's what I like to do, okay? Oh, and then just taco seasoning because it's easy. I like to have one on hand. Next, this advent calendar for dogs. Did you see it? <laughs> How cute is it? Uh, salmon and sweet potato dog treats. So Herman is allergic to basically everything. Bubble boy! Yeah, so this has salmon in it, so I'll kind of keep an eye on him with how he does with that, but I just, I had to get it. I'm sorry, it's too cute. It's in the car heart and my water bottle. Oh, these are also new for us. I ate like half, not half, but a, a couple in the car. That's a lot, <laughs> and not eat half. Um, the garlic and onion pistachios. I wanna put these on the cheese board. On the charcuterie board, but also we just love to have nuts to snack on. It's a great option. We got some of our protein granola. We love to put this on just Greek yogurt or on our apple nachos. More cheese board stuff. Cheese board cheese. Um, we got some light sour cream because I'm making a cornbread casserole for uh, Thanksgiving. We got two garlic dips because we love this on just you know dipping vegetables in, but also putting on the base for like pizzas, quesadillas, that kind of thing. And the last bag, I'll show you what we got for the charcuterie board at the end. Because that's a bunch of stuff. We got Two of our favorite crisp breads. We eat these on everything. I put like avocado on them for like avocado toast. We'll break them up onto cheese boards. We'll dip them in like truffle dip or whatever, garlic dip, whatever. Just some teeny tiny avocados. And then there's my favorite wine. This is just a cheap white that we get there. It's like five bucks, so I really like that one. But moving on to the charcuterie board for the crackers i got these sweet potato ones i've never actually had these before but a lot of you guys said they're great and i've seen them before figured i'd pick them up and then the multi-grain pita bite crackers i've only gotten like the regular ones before so i'm excited to try the multi-grain um for meats oh, meats we got this spanish deli selection and then just italian dry rub salami um for cheeses i got this four year age cheddar cheese this is a, the spotlight cheese of the month so this is new i have never tried it the interesting uh a classic is the triple cream brie we love that honey goat cheese this is also a new one matt look how weird this looks wow it's like orange camo yeah this is a Dutch spicy casa, oh, spicy surprise uh, with red peppers, green bell peppers, and goat cheese. I guess that's Dutch. I don't know. I figured it'd be interesting to try. And then I just got some red grapes. I love having like fresh ingredients on the, the charcuterie board. So we'll do like the cucumbers, um, nuts, just different fruits like apples, grapes, just kind of break up the heavy cheese. Um, and then just rosemary for garnish. And my battery is flashing, so 
I'm gonna change it and then, or let's see how much I can get through before it dies. Target uh, donut blend shop coffee. We need some more parchment paper. Um, I got these hair products that were $10 each. So I got a Kristen S working dry texture spray just to like when I have curls just to get some texture. Then I got a leave-in conditioner spray and a detangler spray, both from Kristen S, also $10. So I'm gonna try those out. I always need detangling sprays. And they had this little tree for $3. And I felt like I had to get it for our table, for our island. We don't have a real Christmas tree, but. Um, then I just got two of these Jiffy Corn mixes for the cornbread casserole. And then I got three of my favorite Celsius, the Kiwi Guava flavor. And then just one more of these little cropped tight t-shirts that I showed in my last one. I love these with loose jeans. Uh, I got a green one and a black one before, but now it's a white one. And this is a size medium, $5. All right, that is everything. My camera is literally gonna die, so I'm gonna put this all away. And I hope you enjoy. Let me know if you've tried any of this stuff, the new items, like the truffle dip. I'm curious to see. I'm curious. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you are subscribed and I will catch you on my next one. Bye guys.